Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to handle different alerts in Selenium WebDriver. Let me answer. First of all, there are different type of JavaScript alerts. They are information alerts, confirmation alerts, and prompt alerts. Let me show you them first. For that, I'll open this browser and take you to one application URL, okay? That is Internet Heroku. Let's go there. On this application page, if you scroll down somewhere, you will see this uh, JavaScript alerts. Click on this link, you'll be taken to this page where you see these three buttons. If you click on the first button, you'll get information alert, okay? How does this information alert look like? You just see one button known as OK button and on the alert, you will see some message that is information alert. And uh, if you click on this uh, second button, you are getting another type of JavaScript alert known as confirmation alert. What's extra from the first type of alert is there's an extra cancel button. Okay. In the information alert, only OK button was there. The purpose of that information alert was to inform you with some message and all. But coming to the second type of alert, that is confirmation alert, you will have both OK and cancel. Yes or no kind of things. Okay. Are you accepting this or are you not accepting that kind of thing? Okay. So that is confirmation alert. They are confirming with you. The third one is prompt alert. When you compare with the confirmation alert, you will have one more thing extra. There is this text box field. Okay. So into this uh, confirmation, uh, into this prompt alert, you can enter some text. For example, I will enter my text. You click on OK. You see, you enter text is coming here. Okay. So prompt alert will also take your input in the form of text or whatever. Okay. So these are the three different type of JavaScript alerts. Okay. We have. And uh, how to automate this, uh, how to automate or handle this uh, different type of JavaScript alerts in Selenium WebDriver. The concept is same guys. Okay. Even though they are of different types, we have to use the same commands to handle or automate them. Okay. So first we have to switch to the alert like this driver dot switch to alert. Then we, we have to either, if you want to select okay button on the alert, then accept. If you want to select uh, cancel button, dismiss. If you want to get the text that is there on the alert, get text. If you want to type something into the prompt alert, send it is like that. Okay. These are the commands you have to use to handle or automate the, okay. This different JavaScript alerts in Selenium web driver. Let me practically demonstrate them for you one by one. Okay. So what I will do here is, uh, I'll copy this URL where we have these three buttons, uh, which will display different type of alerts. And, uh, here in the Eclipse ID, already some Selenium automation code is already there for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser. And here I gave this URL of this uh, page where we have these buttons to display the alerts to open this application URL page. Once the application page URL is open, first let's uh, handle the first type of alert that is information alert. I'll right click inspect this alert button, this button. So here some text is there with the help of text, we can locate this button that is, uh, I'll create an export expression, double slash button, double slash button, text is equal to that particular text, okay? Now the button is getting located. Copy this and here write down driver dot find element by dot xpath. Give the xpath expression of that particular button and simply say dot click. Simply say dot click. So this will click on the first button and you'll get this information alert. Now, how to automate this alert? First, when the alert comes, you have to switch to the alert. You have to first switch to the alert. How to switch to the alert? Simple. How to switch to the alert? It's very simple. Here I have to write driver dot switch to dot alert. Since there is only one alert, I don't have to name this alert. Okay. Since there will be only one alert at a time, whatever the alert that is there, I'll be able to switch to the alert by writing this line driver dot switch to dot alert. Once Selenium switches to this particular alert, I can perform operations. For example, I would like to get this particular text on the alert. Okay. How to get this text? So for that, this alert command will return you an object reference of this alert interface. Okay. I'll simply say alert is equal to the return type is alert interface. So I'll use this object reference and say dot get text. That's it. It will retrieve the text that is or message that is there on this alert. I am a JavaScript alert message will be retrieved. Okay. I can store into, uh, I'll say message. Okay. Message alert message or message, whatever it is. And here I'll print it out. Some dot out dot and I'll just print it out. Okay. So after retrieving this particular text and printing, okay, here I would like to 
accept this alert. I would like to select OK button on this alert. How to do that? For that, we have to say alert dot save object reference alert dot accept alert dot accept. I have to say that's it. Okay, alert will be accepted. And uh, once alert is accepted, uh, I'll just add some you know red dot sleep so that you can see in action before accepting before closing the alert or accepting the alert. Okay. Just wait for three seconds. Run this code and observe that the alert will be automated or handled. First, the alert will be displayed. Once the button will be clicked, and alert will be displayed on the page. And uh, after that, it will be accepted. You see, done. It got accepted. If you go and see in the output console, I am a JavaScript alert got printed. Okay. So the message on the alert also got retrieved. So either you can accept the alert. If you select OK, accepting the alert. If I press escape key on my keyboard, alert got dismissed. Okay, even though there is no cancel button, you can still press escape key to dismiss the alert, to escape the alert. So instead of accept, you can also use dot dismiss. Okay. So it will not press OK button, rather it will escape the alert. Visually, we cannot confirm this, but internally it will happen that the alert will be dismissed. Instead of selecting the OK button, the alert will be escaped. Escape key will be clicked on the keyboard. After three seconds, you see alert will be dismissed. Done. So the first type of alert is done. Now I'll show you the second type of uh, alert that is a confirmation alert, which contains both OK and cancel buttons. I need to click on this button this time. So I'll just uh, Copy this text and modify this XPath expression so that it will locate the second button. You see, this time this button is getting located. Okay, second button is getting located. Copy this XPath, come back here and uh, give the XPath, modify the XPath expression here in the code. Done. Now, now confirmation alert will come. Confirmation alert will come. We'll switch to the same. The process is same. We have to switch to the confirmation alert with the same step driver dot switch to alert. And using this alert uh, object reference, we can get the text on the confirmation, whatever the text that is there. I may JS confirm will be retrieved and printed in the output console. And after that, I would like to accept the alert. I would not accept. It will accept the alert. Okay. It will press o, uh, select the OK button on the confirmation alert. It accept will select the OK button on the confirmation alert. And alert will be closed. This time, confirmation alert came. You see, OK and cancel buttons are there. OK button got clicked. Okay. You see, you click OK is coming here. That proves. Now, we can also dismiss. This time, cancel button will be cancel button will be clicked. Okay. When you say dismiss means cancel button on the confirmation alert will be clicked. Let's see what's happening. see cancel button got clicked you click cancel this proves now the third variety of or third type of javascript alert we have is the prompt alert where you can enter the text also okay we have some extra command on a send case command using which we can do that so fine so let me inspect this uh, third button and copy this text and modify this xpath expression so that we can locate the third button the third button is getting located copy this xpath expression come back here and uh, modify the XPath expression here. Done. Driver dot switch to alert. I will be switching to the uh, prompt alert. After that, uh, you can accept the alert, or you can, you know, you can. If you say okay, you entered. Nothing will come. Okay, without entering anything. If you say okay, means sir, you entered. Nothing will come. Okay. If I say cancel, you entered null will come. Okay, so that proves that we have clicked on cancel button. So let's uh, do accept first. Dot accept. One by one, we'll see. At the end, I'll show you how to enter the text also into the alert. Into the prompt alert this time. We are going to select the OK button without entering anything. Without entering any text, we are selecting the OK button. You see, you entered, nothing came. Now, I'll simply say dismiss. This time, without entering anything, so null will come. Null text should come there. 
since we have dismissed it, we should get null. Click on cancel and null will come. Now this time I'll enter some text and say, okay. Okay, I'll enter some text. How to enter the text? A minute. So here I want to enter the text. For that, uh, I'll say accept here, first of all. And then here I'll enter the text. Alert dot. Send the keys. I'll give my name. You'll not be able to see this uh, text being entered into the field visually. Okay, visually you will not see in the alert that this text is being entered into the text box field. That's not possible. Okay, but uh, in the result you will see that Arun Motori text has been entered on the page. Okay, but visually you cannot see that Arun Motori is being typed into the text box field of the alert. Okay, that's not there. Okay, don't think that there's a problem in this. Okay, that's how it behaves. Now run this code. So in the result, we can find out whether my name has been entered into the prompt text field. Okay, visually you cannot see that my name is being entered into that uh, field, but here in the result you can see my name got entered. Okay, so that's okay. That's how the prompt alerts will behave. That's expected behavior. So hope guys you understood uh, how to handle different type of JavaScript alerts in Selenium WebDriver. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.